three greatest challenges business side automation so far. Um, one, IT. Um, two, IT, and three, <laughs> IT. Does that count? Can I give you three of the same answer? Um, in the early days, in the cowboy days of, of RPA, way back sort of five years ago when, when Frank and, and we were trying to come up with what the name for this space should be, it, it was, you had a lot of, you had a lot of the, the, the sort of the, um, the visionaries standing on stage saying things like, my IT group doesn't even know I'm doing this. And you do know you're on stage, right? Um, but, uh, but that's changed. IT now knows that's happening, and they're coming down like a, you know, a brick wall on this stuff. And if you don't involve them yesterday and, and treat them as one of the most important stakeholders you've got, you're in for some pain. And so I think that's the big, that is the biggest challenge um, as, far as, uh, as far as executing on a vision. Um, another is just uh, finding, defining the, the proposition. What is the business case and what's the ROI for this? Because it is exciting, but exciting isn't enough. And so enterprises taking, and again, this is not new. This is going back to fundamentals. What's the potential to add value to this organization? If you can answer that, it makes the rest of it easier. And a lot of folks are sort of, again, they start with a software demo. They get excited about the software. And then they just they look around and they find a process that's as close to them as they can reach. And then they try it on that. Um, and you know, the outcomes are a little underwhelming. So I think that's one of the reasons why there's this sort of stagnation as they realize, huh, that didn't save lots and lots of money and heads. Like, well, how many FTEs were, was doing that? Well, one and a half, you know, quarterly. <laughs> so, so that's a challenge. Um, the other, I think, is just general, you know, glut of information. Right? There's just there are too many people trying to comprehend something that's again hard, and and so they need help. And um, oftentimes they come back. I'll talk about this in my next presentation too. But uh, they are sort of have this sort of fear of a better tool or fear of a better solution. And so they're kind of scattered all over the place. And so we see that with some of our clients where we're in the middle of an implementation. They come back from a conference and say, hey, we heard about whatever. Is that <laughs> you can't change this rocket ship. We're in the middle of the journey. We're halfway to the moon. You can't change it. I mean, you can, but it's going to be absurdly dangerous. Thank you.